Welcome to the Seton Hill Art Building, located in downtown Greensburg. This building is brand new and was completed in 2016, so everything is up to date and state of the art. All of our downtown buildings are equipped with key card access so that only students and faculty members can enter the buildings, keeping all of our students safe. The art building is also equipped with a cafe area. In this area, students can sit, relax, have a cup of coffee, and buy a sandwich, a snack, or other food to eat in between meals. You can use your meal plan at these locations, and it's a quick and easy option in between classes. The Jody Harris Gallery is the gallery space in the art building that is run entirely by a student committee. This is a great opportunity for undergraduate students to be able to work in a professional gallery environment. This area also houses all of the senior shows for students in the BFA programs, where they can exhibit all of the artwork that they've created throughout their four years at Seton Hill. The Harlan Gallery is a larger gallery space across the hall from the Harris Gallery. This space houses a lot of different exhibitions from local artists and artists from the Pittsburgh region. It also houses the senior exhibitions for the art therapy, art education, and graphic design majors. Once a semester, we also host a student exhibition in here showcasing all of the best works created by students in the previous semester. When using the Art Education and Art Therapy Studio for art education purposes, you get the chance to experiment with multiple materials in order to start thinking about lessons that you will teach in your future classroom. Something that I love about this space is that there are limited windows which allows for students from surrounding schools to come in. This creates a great opportunity for any art education student to start to plan and help with a project, which is a great hands-on experience, especially before student teaching. The privacy of this studio also allows for hands-on experience for art therapy students as they are able to work with patients before they enter the graduate portion. Upstairs, we have the second floor student lounge. This area houses a microwave, coffee maker, refrigerator, and a vending machine. This is a great spot for students to hang out in between classes and enjoy their lunch. They can also bring a lunch from down on the hill or from something they made in their dorm and store it in this area for safekeeping. This is also a great space for students to have meetings for our various art clubs. A fully equipped print room allows you to print projects of any size and all the faculty members are more than happy to assist you with any project. The Hill is the perfect place for you to bring your creativity and imagination to life. Hello, my name is Jordan Maris and I'm a graphic design major here at Seton Hill. The Graphic Design Mac Lab has everything you need for the variety of design classes offered here. It is easy to hook your MacBooks up to the large screens, which is very helpful for designing and animating. The large TVs make it easy to display work for critique or view a PowerPoint. These rooms have everything you need for all kinds of graphic design work, including map board, tape, exacto knives, materials for making books, anything you need is at your fingertips. Here is our corner dance studio that has ballet bars on two sides and mirrors on the other two walls. We keep additional bars in the corner to use for our morning ballet classes in the fall. The studio features automatic blinds. This is one of our favorite rooms to work in because of the natural light. It is also a great space for dance photography and video. All students are required to scan a student ID upon entry in order to protect our Marley floors. When not in use for class or rehearsal, it's available for students to use for their personal projects. The performance studio is next door and is our largest space. Ballet bars run along two walls. The other two walls feature mirrors with pull across curtains. This studio is used for classes and rehearsals for the dance concert. It is also an available performance venue and is used annually for the Student New Works concert each spring. Along the ceiling are LED and stage lights ready to be used. A scrim is hung, curtains pulled, risers and seats moved in, and we have a theater! Showtime! The 
The first studio on the third floor is the photography studio. In here, students will learn black and white photography and how to develop film in a darkroom. This is an excellent skill for students to use if they want to create beautiful and artistic prints from film. Seton Hill also has a brand new photography minor that is very popular among all students, but especially our graphic design majors. Some of my favorite memories from Seton Hill are from being in the Arts Building. There's always something to do, something to work on, and new people to meet. My favorite spot is definitely the painting studio. It's so big and open, a space without boundaries and endless opportunities. Additionally, in the painting studio, we have a lot of natural light, which is really helpful when you're working with oil painting because it doesn't take, create as much of a glare on your piece. We also have complete ventilation here to keep students safe when inhaling different sort of paint thinners and fixatives. Uh, we want to make sure we prioritize the health of all of our students, as well as giving them a large and interactive space to work in. Printmaking classes learn how to print editions using various methods, including woodblock carving, dry point etching, and silkscreen printing. Typically, 2D design classes are held here too. The printmaking studio has a lot of different resources within it that really allow students to learn the tradition of printmaking from old techniques like the woodblock carving up to newer, modern techniques like silkscreen printing. So this is actually the only traditional classroom in the arts building. Here, students take numerous art history classes covering broad and specific topics from art history like the Renaissance, women in art, modern art, and so on. This is the drawing studio. This is where you learn the basics of drawing and make studies of the bust models provided. This classroom is also used to take classes that they offer such as figure drawing and you would have live models come in and pose for you nude. The main source of lighting in the room is the natural lighting coming from the windows as you can see and it's honestly one of the probably the best parts of the entire room. It's very spacious and offers a lot of variety for students. The critique room offers a professional environment for students to evaluate their completed projects amongst their classmates' work as well. There's a lot of natural lighting in this room during the day and studio lights at night, allowing students to document their work professionally for their portfolios. The critique room is also a really great place for students to experiment with the final presentation of their artwork. For example, the pinata that you're seeing hanging from the ceiling is actually the result of a performance piece done by one of our intermediate sculpture students. This is the metalsmithing studio. This studio offers the students a unique opportunity to fabricate metal work as well as create 3D models off of digital programs such as Rhino. Students in the past have created jewelry, utensils, and relics. This class also counts as an artistic expression course at Seton Hill, so many students, art majors not, tend to take it and enjoy themselves. With the several 3D printers in this area, we have the ability to print in a variety of materials, including plastic, resin, ceramic, and even carbon fiber. So the foundry is the area where large-scale metal casting occurs. Sculpture students are able to assist in metal pouring, whether they are helping pour the metal into the casts or on the sidelines making sure the metal is confined to the sand pit area. 
This is always a really cool process to see, and advanced sculpture students will have the opportunity to cast metal by themselves with the supervision of their instructor. Beside the foundry is our welding area, as well as our 3D design classroom. In these areas, students can work on larger projects, as well as projects that do not require the heavier machinery that may be used in other areas. Up on the catwalk, we also have our advanced 3D sculpture studio spaces. All of these areas are for students who are in our intermediate and advanced sculpture classes. As at that level, you get your own desk, which you can keep all of your materials at. It makes it really convenient to be able to have all your materials right there and ready for you. And it's great to have your own little workspace. Additionally, we have a wood shop area down below the sculpture studio. In here, students learn all of the basic techniques for working with wood. We have all sorts of different machines, such as band saws and routers and sanders, that are available for students to use. In the 3D design class, all of our students are trained on how to use this equipment safely, and all of it is equipped with emergency stops. This room is the clay studio. In this studio, students create ceramics using different methods such as slab and coil construction as well as throwing on the wheel. There is a variety of four different types of clay that can be used, and the glaze room offers underglaze and a variety of glazes to use on your ceramic after firing. The school also offers the raku firing that happens in our art yard, and students can use specific raku glazes or techniques such as feathering for their final outcome. The art yard is also a great space for students to work on their projects outdoors, as well as host outdoor activities for the art clubs.